Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise to support the amendment to the, to, to the Pensions Act, Mr. Speaker, to ensure that $725 is the minimum amount which will be received by pensioners. But before I continue, Mr. Speaker, I want to take this opportunity to congratulate St. Lucians for a wonderful start to our cricket, the, the ICC Cricket World Cup. I want to congratulate all St. Lucians, Mr. Speaker. I want to congratulate St. Lucians for disregarding the leader of the opposition's comments, for disregarding the disrespect that this leader of the opposition has for St. Lucia and St. Lucians. For while he tried to create this atmosphere and tried to cause St. Lucians to believe that we could not step up to deliver a world-class event, Mr. Speaker, St. Lucia and St. Lucians proved that, Mr. Speaker, we can do it. Mr. Speaker, I want to congratulate Darren Sami. I want to congratulate the players. I want to congratulate Mr. Crafton, Mr. Speaker. I want to congratulate all the other workers, the staff, the people in, in, in the construction sector who worked. But Mr. Speaker, I have a special place for our colleague, who's not here today, but Mr. Kenson Kazimi, Mr. Speaker. The Prime Minister and Cabinet colleagues and all those who are involved, Mr. Speaker. Why am I saying this, Mr. Speaker? We are here to, to debate a simple amendment, but significant amendment to the Pensions Act. But why did I begin with the cricket? Because, Mr. Speaker, what the leader of the opposition did before the start of the games, and what we are doing here, you might not see the connection, but this government has been trying to, to use what I said in opposition about our St. Lucian-ness and the belief in our St. Lucian-ness that we can reach great heights, Mr. Speaker. We can take care of our people, whether they are older people, whether they are pensioners, and at the same time, we can reach great heights, like hosting international matches, having the best cricket ground in the Caribbean. Not we say it, not me say it, but while the leader of the opposition was there, cursing St. Lucians and St. Lucia, the international press and people from all around the world are saying that that's the best ground in the Eastern Caribbean, Mr. Speaker. Our St. Lucianness, we believe in this government, Mr. Speaker, that we can look inwardly with the help of our friends outside and do the best that we can for St. Lucians. And this is what, Mr. Speaker, this amendment is all about. It's about looking at our, our structures, looking at what our different groups, the vulnerable groups, and asking ourselves, what can we do to better the lives of these people, Mr. Speaker? And like my other colleagues said, I did not expect, honestly, Mr. Speaker, for all of this, for the opposition to come with why now and all of these things. Could you believe, Mr. Speaker, the 130 families and more who are seated at their homes, the pensioners, some of them 80 years, who are seated watching us today, and they are very glad, they are happy that our Prime Minister has come with this amendment so that from August 1st, some of them will get an increase of 100% in what we, the Prime Minister himself has said, it's not enough. He believes that it's not enough and therefore there are a number of things we need to do to even improve this situation. But can you believe these people are sitting at their homes hoping that August 1st quickly arrives and to hear the opposition, to hear what these people are saying? Mr. Speaker, the people of St. Lucia must never return this, this gentleman, never return them to power in this country. Never, Mr. Speaker. If you cannot come to the House this morning and just say, thank you, Mr. Prime Minister, let's move on to another debate. Let's just do this. We agree, and let's move on. And you are there talking about why now? Why now? Why not when you were there? Why now? Mr. Speaker, clearly, it shows the difference between them and us. 
And that's why, whether it's in two years' time or three years' time, they must never be returned to government. Mr. Speaker, this is just another indication of the focus of this government. Ça c'est un autre manière, nous qu'à montrer qui manière gouvernement ça la différent. Leader opposition, Mr. Speaker, moi dit allé là avant que cricket là y allé à la télévision, allé Facebook, qu'a dit nous pas pas ouais. Ça y qu'a really dit à Mr. Speaker, c'est cette lycéen nous tourne la peau. Nous nous pas ni monde qui s'amène, nous sommes pas pichot, nous pas rien. Nous c'est la peau patate. C'est ça qu'a dit tout 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 partout. La vérité, la vérité qu'a fait glo qu'a fait glo trop bel état ici aujourd'hui. C'est ça qu'a dit à mes explications. C'est nous-mêmes, cette lycéen, nous pas en rien. Conseil aller tout partout. Qu'a dit mon la terre qui nous pas ça faire World Cup. Et laissez mon venir cette lycéen au cas C'est ni nous qui ni plus bon grounds ball au Caraïbes là. C'est nous qui n'avons plus de bon grands balles. Et toi, j'ai qu'à dire ça. Il dit le même chose pour le World Cup 2007. Ça, c'est un monde qui n'est pas content de cette lycée. Ça, c'est un monde qui n'est pas content de cette lycée. Chouval, coup chouval. Et quand il y a un horse race là, comment est-ce que tu es habillé Là, tu as un chapeau Longfellow. Un chapeau Wadsworth. Aristocrat, vous savez Pour une manière, il y a des gars tout bouton par un cheval là. Comme ils ont qui n'y plime, et comme ils ont qui n'y long bagaille de... Mais c'est ce qu'il C'est mon salaire par contre, c'est les siens. C'est le choix. Mais notre cricket, nous avons Darren Sami, qui a led les West Indies. Il a un record. Deux World Cup victories as captain. You have a stadium named after him, the Darren Sami Cricket Ground. You have Johnson Charles. You have Crafton, who is rated as one of the best in the world. But yet, you take all of that and you try to put all of that in the garbage by telling the world that Darren Sami can't do it. Johnson Charles can't do it. Crafton, tout moun vle Crafton. And so many others. That, Mr. Speaker, that is what, for me, this debate is about. That is what it's about. So we are amending the Pensions Act. For them, this is not the time. Just as he said, this is not the time for St. Lucia in the World Cup. So St. Lucians must understand what this man is about. He does not like St. Lucians. And at every opportunity, he will take the chance to downgrade St. Lucians, to put us below his feet. That is what it's about. So why now? Why are we giving pensioners an increase? Why now? But I'll tell you, Mr. Speaker, the people of St. Lucia demonstrated while this was cricket, what they did was not just about cricket. You see on Facebook, St. Lucians talk about the lights and all of that. What St. Lucians did was to demonstrate that you, leader of the opposition, will not tell us Darren Sum is not good enough. You will not tell us that Alton Crafton is not good enough. We are going out there in our numbers to demonstrate to you that we love St. Lucia and we love what we, what we can do. That's what it's about. Mr. Speaker, what, what else has this government done? I will not go through all of what we've done because my colleagues have gone through them. But from conception, pregnant mothers, you get benefits. All your ultrasound, your blood test free from conception. Early childhood education, $2,500. Primary school, bursaries. And we have continued what Dr. Kenny Anton, member for Viewfort South, started. $500 for every child going to secondary school, every parent. Secondary school, scholarships, university, universal secondary education started by member for Viewfort South. The youth economy. And Mr. Speaker, we have now gone into older people trying to organize things. This Prime Minister, Mr. Speaker, this Prime Minister established an elderly affairs unit in the Ministry of Health. And what have we been doing? What have we been doing? We have been creating programs and policies. And just this week, Mr. Speaker, we have received the report which we will bring to Cabinet and to Parliament. 
The 80 Golden Plus program in health. You know what, Mr. Speaker? You know what they have said? They have said, Mr. Speaker, that 80 years, 40 years, it all grown up by moon benefits. They are saying on the, in the town hall meetings that, oh, how we are waiting until people reach 80 years to give them benefits. Can you believe that, Mr. Speaker? But you were there. You were there. You never gave anybody any benefits. I have, I, have, I have come here, Mr. Speaker, and I have indicated that in the health centers, people 80 years and over were spending millions of dollars paying for some of the medication. Yes, millions of dollars. I, I came here in Parliament and I, and I, and I, and I, I, gave, I gave the report. Yes, they are spending money. We have removed that from them. Now, there is a, there's a complaint that the people don't get the medication anyway. I have said in public, yes, we have had a problem with medication, especially for diabetes and hypertension. And over the last month, we have had to order from Miami at three times the cost just to bring down medication because, because of issues with trade and because of, of the issues happening because of Israeli is, the, the war and so on. The shipments have been very slow. I've explained that. But here is the other thing, Mr. Speaker. In, in the past, to get free medication, you needed to have you needed to be both diabetic and hypertension, hypertensive to get the free medication. So if you're only hypertensive, you are not getting it. Since we came into government with a new PBF program and other programs, if you are hypertens just hypertensive alone, you get medication. If you are diabetic and hypertensive, you get medication. But you know what? While they are jumping up everywhere saying, oh, only on paper, let me tell you what's on paper. When we came into government in 2021, we were providing medication for 2,100 individuals. Right now, we are providing medication for over 9,000 individuals. And you know what? My staff tells me, Minister, you like to be too conservative. It's more like 12,000. But we are, we, are, we, are, we are counting still. That's what's on paper. That is what's on paper. You know what this means? This means that we are covering more and more individuals. That's what it means. That's what it means. So when you go out to say, oh, it's only on paper, people are not getting medication. Of course there are times when people are not getting medication. When you're in government, they always got medication? Sure. Huh? When you are in government. When the medication is short, we come on television and we explain to the people that we have supply chain issues. As I said to you two months ago, we ordered medication from a different route through the PPS and we paid three times them or just to get it here. But the demand for it is so great. Our programs are working. Our programs are working, Mr. Speaker. And the way you get the evidence is how many people are you touching? How many more? And we have the figures. How many were you touching in 2021? How many are you touching today? And it's, go, it's happening for every sector, in the, every subsector in health. Exactly. I didn't do like him for the vaccines at all. So, Mr. Speaker, yes, we are not going to get everything perfect. And I know they talk about health. But this pensions amendment will assist hundreds of families in this country. And that is what's important, Mr. Speaker. All the grand charging by the leader of the opposition, the grand charging, why now and this and all of that. He is not the one who's going to be impacted by this. No. So he comes to the parliament and does all kinds of somersaulting and halikase to, according to the member for library, to put people off. The people who are important there are those people who are suffering because they're only getting $200 for their pension. And we, as a government, the prime minister, we are coming in to, to change this, to assist you. That's why you must never vote for them. Don't vote for them. Your grandchildren should not vote for them. Your children should not vote for them because they do not want you to get an increase in, the, in your pension. The leader of the opposition does not want you to get an increase in your pension. I want him to start up and say that's not true. He wants you to get it. So, Mr. Speaker, I support it. Mr. Speaker. 
So I just want to say quickly before I close, Mr. Speaker, I was very happy when the Member of Parliament for Ancillary Canaries mentioned the percentage of our population, the percentage of our population over 65 years. That's very important. A little over 10%, Mr. Speaker. Can you imagine that over 65? So in the next decade, we will see a massive increase in the number of older people in St. Lucia, and therefore we must put programs in place. We must increase the pensions, we must ensure that we have programs. That's why this Prime Minister put a depart a unit. Hopefully in the future it will be a separate department of elderly affairs. We now have over the last three weeks appointed an acting director of elderly affairs. He was already in the ministry, we just shifted him. We now have programs that Dr. Zeister Edmund presented to us just last week. So we are moving ahead and we'll come to cabinet and parliament. So Mr. Speaker, we are moving along and we have recognized that all the people in this country matter. We want to change the conversation in this country about all the people. We want to change it. In the last Labour government, they started with the elder care program and this program continues. There are lots of programs that we can do to ensure that all the people in this country form part and parcel of a greater part and parcel of the fabric of development in this country. Because I'm Mr. Speaker, I will close, Feme, but I want to say to the people of St. Lucia, through you, Mr. to the parliament, that what the opposition is doing is typical. Sayo kafe a se konsayo ye. Yo pavle nou fe a ye ki gai benefe jan set li si. Soue se te nom la, ki mano nom la ki fe tout se fil la? Soue se te loka bi ki te ka wanje se daren sa mi stadium. Ah, si yo te la se li ki te ka wanje yi. Se pa kontrakta set li si. And I want the member for Mikusau to have more respect for people like Darren Sami, have more respect for people like Alton Crafton, have more respect for, for our people, man. Have more respect for our people. Even if you're a product of Canada. Even though you know you, you're a product of Canada, have more respect for our people. Mr. Speaker, I thank you and I support the amendment to the to the pension.